Oh no, it's one of those days. Oh no, guys, we just had one heck of a mess on our hands. So we, I think we've got a burned out transmission in the old Tempest. Uh, we've got to move GTO around and get the Tempest down here in the shop uh, so we can get the transmission pulled out of it and take it to the transmission shop and go from there. Uh, so you guys sit back. Uh, this episode is going to be pulling the motor, pulling the transmission out of the old 66 Tempest, and uh, let's get after it here. Dad, man, when's the last time that men you've tag team Gertie? <laughs> Does it bring back memories? <laughs> What is been in the family since 66, right? Your grandpa bought it brand new? Yeah, which would be your great grandfather. Great grandpa, heck yeah, man. I remember when it had some plastic on the seats. <laughs> had a little plastic bag on the knob of the seat. glove box to put his trash in if it was kept. Immaculate, huh? Yeah, yeah I heard that, man. Yeah, we've kept it alive, though. It's been a good old car all through high school. Learn what RPMs, what not to shift at. <laughs> Being a dad and driving the back roads and seeing black marks. No. <laughs> no one, no one who did it. <laughs> yeah, that sort of You'd never seen nothing like that, huh? No, no, no. Now you never done none of that yourself, did you? Time or two. Time or two. Yes, I think it's in our blood. It's in our blood. That's right. Well, guys, the old daily banger is in the shop right now, and uh, we got to do some transmission work. I was going down the interstate going to work and uh drive starts slipping on me so um we're gonna pull it out of here get old dad's help we've been moving race cars around moving stuff around <laughs> you can't have a big enough shop can you dad no, that's, for sure. that's for sure all right guys we're gonna get after it here and start making stuff happen golly guys it's time to get this hood off definitely a big shout out to old dad helping me out there uh, we're getting this thing up on jack stands my lift is full right now with customer builds and uh, right now we just got to stab this thing in here where we can stab it in. So uh, it's time to get the cherry picker out, get this thing picked up, and get this old girl pulled out of there. And man, it's kind of a beast to get stabbed out. It, it really is. And then get set back down on the floor again. But uh, some good old ratchet straps, some good old patience, and you can get it out. And I think when we go to put it back in, I think I'm going to take the intake off and do this a little bit different. And it'll probably be a little bit easier to do. But uh, yeah, guys. Uh, there y'all go. All right, guys, the motor is out. Transmission is out. And boy, do we have a mess on our hands. Uh, there's the old 6 sitting right there. And uh, we're going to take the transmission over to Tri-Cities, get them to rebuild it for us, and we'll be back in business. And uh, I think in the meantime, while we're waiting on that thing to get redone, I think I'm going to go in here, clean all this up, uh, rattle can it again get it cleaned back up again get it looking good again now bring some life back underneath the hood on this thing it's definitely needed it's starting to show uh it's getting a little bit crusty and stuff under here clean the motor up get all that stuff looking good again and everything and uh the old car will be looking good again but uh anyways guys it's just part of it one of those deals definitely wasn't planning on this deal by no means but uh sometimes it happens um so yeah man Right now, I uh, just had to hammer down, get that done. I'll be jumping back on this thing. Um, in the meantime, waiting on the transmission to get done, and then we'll slap it back in here. Um, but yeah. driving the daggum fuzzy steering wheel today boys mm. Mm -mm -mm. we're heading on in here to try these transmission definitely appreciate those guys out a bunch let's get on in here get this transmission fixed and get back at it boys Jesse. look at that man a big gaping hole we got a, we got a big hole an old workhorse i tell you <laughs> All it's right. not good when the whole everyday banger goes down. <laughs> so I'm going to say is, old Skip, Dark Hollow Garage, he comes down here with a cursed Pontiac Rally Two Wheel. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Skip burned out his transmission in his 66 the week before he came down here. No, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it <laughs> oh, man. So Skip, Skip, brother, dude, what in the world? 
Don't bring that juju down No, here. man. Keep that voodoo crap and survival, man. Pick it up that way. <laughs> All right. So, motor's out of the car. We had a breakdown. Um, it started slipping, uh, going up a hill, going to work. Uh, yes, we do drive. I drive this thing every day. Every day, man. And um, this workhorse has been a workhorse for a Been a good car for you, dude. Good and car. It has. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, um, this thing has been LS swapped for literally about 10 years now, uh, surprisingly. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of crazy to think that it, it's been swapped for that long. But it has... Uh, this car put me all through college, all through high school, um, going to work. Uh, I drive this thing about 40 minutes to and from work uh, on a daily basis, and uh, it's a good, it's a good car. Um, my great grandfather actually bought this thing brand new in 1966, yeah, man. and this car was actually bought locally as well. Um, That's cool. Uh, funny story, where the Krispy Kreme is in Johnson City, if. Uh, I may be wrong, I'd have Dad comment down below, but I think the Pontiac dealership was right behind the Krispy Kreme here locally in Johnson City, Tennessee, and literally hmm. this car came from there. Yeah, I used to, I grew up I grew up in this neighborhood, right down the road, I'm about not even a mile down the road. And I remember driving by here all the time, and I was a kid, that's when it was dark blue, yep. it sat right in front of the old garage, beside the house with weeds growing around it, I always thought it was a GTO. Every time I pass, like, Dad, man, I'd love to see somebody get that GTO and get it going. Then when I started hanging out up here, I was like, dang, it wasn't a GTO. It was a four-door Tempest. <laughs> yep. And uh, it's kind of funny. Pontiacs <clears throat> is how me and Jesse actually really got. We've always known each other. Yeah. Our lives. We've grown up in the same neighborhood together. Yeah. But um, these old cars actually what really brought me and Jesse together. Yeah. Basically. I was cruising. I think I was cruising up King Springs one day. And I seen the full metal goat sitting out there. It was had a brown front end on it with a yellow body. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, dang, that, that dude's got a freaking GTO down there. And I just whizzed in the park driveway one day. We've been here ever since. <laughs> yeah, it, there hadn't been too many weekends you ain't been here. No, since. huh? It's been rare. Then when we do miss a weekend, we're both depressed. <laughs> yeah, both depressed or I'm coming down to your house. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's talk about what's going on. Um, Got the motor pulled out. You guys can see it right over here. Um, it is a 6.0 um, uh, LQ4 motor is what it is. Um, we've got the transmission off at uh, Tri-C transmission right now. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened. Uh, definitely comment down below. So here's the symptoms of what went down. I was going up a hill and it started slipping and drive and i could tell that it was like staying in second gear and i was like well maybe it's low on transmission fluid check that it was good on the fluid um got to work and i was like well i'll have it towed home just in case because uh, i didn't want to make it even worse i got it home went to put the car up in the park and i lost the park like it it no longer has park in it either that's really weird to me comment down below if you guys know what happened to it again i lost third gear which is drive and I lost park I don't understand what happened the shifter didn't come out of sync ones it didn't come out of adjustment I can literally take the linkage off of the transmission and just hold the lever all the way forward where park is supposed to be and there's still no park you can, it still spins like it's in neutral so I don't know what happened uh, but it's at the transmission shop and uh, we can go from there so, yeah man I was for some reason I don't know if it's where me and you are good friends but if you have a bad week, I just get that get that vibe that you had a bad week. And I texted you on Tuesday, yeah. so I said, how's the week going, brother? Transmission went out. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been that sort of week. So what we're going to try to do is here, um, me and Jesse has a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, I've man. Got two kids. Um, it's crazy. Um, we've got a motor. It's at the machine shop for GTO. We had to pull that out. Jesse, he drove by here and saw what kind of craziness I had going on. I have to do that to get this car in here. Um, it's been crazy. Yeah, it's, on both of us is in. I've got a lot going on on my end. We're all kind of in a big limp mode right now. It's weird. Just got a lot of go, lot going on, guys. A lot going on. 
Um, so what me and Jesse's trying to do is in these episodes, we got a lot of people watching and we got a lot more subscribers and stuff. And so we are trying to um, have as much fun with it as we possibly can. Yeah. And, and uh, cause that's me and Jesse anyways. Yeah. No matter how bad it is, we're cutting up, having a good time. We always crack jokes in the worst moments. <laughs> we do. And uh, it's one of those deals we're trying to show that more to you all. Yeah. And stuff, instead of it just being fabrication only. We've been on YouTube now for, what, four years? Now, yeah. Right around that. Pretty and much. We've done so much fabrication stuff on here to where, to me, I can only show you guys so much, and then we're just repeating stuff. Yeah, exactly. And so my thoughts is... We're going to try, we're going to keep showing that, but we're also going to keep having as much fun with it as we can. And I hope you guys get enjoyment out of it as well. So, yeah, man. Blow up the comments. We're going to have ourselves a good time here. And uh, what we're going to do here next is basically be cleaning up in here. Uh, my thoughts is over the next couple of episodes or whatever, we're going to basically just kind of re rattle can the engine bay area clean up the motor so when we get the transmission back and everything goes back together it'll look pretty nice underneath the hood again yeah and, man uh, so that's the plan so sit back and enjoy our chaos <laughs>